going to ask Brianne Martin to come up to the stage um, now, and her talk title is Here to Help. Uh, Brianne is the product coordinator at Nutrien. Brianne, welcome to the stage. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Brianne Martin, and I believe that we can all be better if we work together. I put work um, into building strong, successful relationships. As Charlene mentioned, I'm a potash products coordinator with Nutrien, which is a global leader in agriculture. And I am passionate about helping my customers to feed the future. In my professional life, I strive to be the person that's always there to help. If someone comes to me with an ask for help, I take whatever it is my piece in their ask is, and I own it, and I really work with them towards a solution. The people I work with know that they can come to me with anything, and that I'm going to be open, and I'm going to be accountable, and I'm going to be really supportive. According to National Geographic, by 2050, there's going to be about 9 million people in this world. And we're going to have to feed them. And we're going to have to feed them with roughly the same amount of growing acreage that we use right now to not very successfully feed 7 billion people. If I'm not there to help my coworkers and my customers, we're never gonna get there. Every day, I work with customers and our minds to get potash, which is a key um, nutrient and fertilizer where it needs to go. My success doesn't exist in a vacuum, and it's largely dependent on the strength of the bonds that I build with others. And I really take the same approach to my relationships with my customers as they treat their crops. So it starts out with a seed, which in my case is a business relationship which is out of a, an obligation. I'm their supplier, they're my customer, we really have to work together. So if you think about that like a seed, you plant it, do you walk away? Does it grow all on its own, doesn't need nothing, we're good, I'm fine? Absolutely not. What does a seed really need to grow? It needs water, it needs sunshine, and it needs food, which is fertilizer. Um, I believe that relationships really take a lot of work too. They take trust, accountability, and empathy. You might be saying to yourself, how does this even apply to me? Like, good for her, she loves her job, she likes dealing with people, you know, I'm a great coworker, I'm a great listener, I'm a great friend, I have good relationships, um, but I bet you've been let down in the past. So, who here has tried to do something all by themselves for fear of reaching out to anybody to ask for help? Who in this room has built up the courage to reach out, to finally say, hey, I'm gonna ask somebody for help on this, to get almost nothing in return from that person that you've asked for help with. So a little story from, from my life. Um, I had a problem with my email, which turned into a problem with my phone, um, to where I couldn't use it for almost a week. And I am external facing, so I really need to use my phone quite a bit. Um, Back and forth with IT, back and forth with IT, the gentleman on the computer kept saying, yep, we've got it fixed. And try my phone, no, it's not fixed. Try this, still not fixed. And eventually, as the kids would say, he ghosted me. He just stopped returning my messages. <laughs> and I wanted to go through that computer and grab him by the shoulders and say, hey, I can't do this by myself. I don't know how to fix this phone. I really need your help. On the flip side, who here has finally built up the courage, asked somebody to help, and then been absolutely blown away by what you received in response? Chances are that that person didn't even have to fix it for you. But the key part was that you asked for help and they said, hey, I hear you, I understand you, and I'm here to help. So same email, phone issue. I quickly sent a message to um, 
one of the gentlemen in our office and I said, hey, I can't get anybody to help me with this. Can you please help me? And he said, I'm not 100% sure what the problem is, but leave this with me and I'll fix it for you. What a relief. I don't have to worry about this anymore. I can trust that somebody else has my back and they're gonna take this. I want to have better relationships. I want to know that when I ask for help, when I take that leap, that there's gonna be somebody there to respond. I deserve that in response because that's what I give when somebody asks me for help. I give them trust, I give them empathy, and I give them accountability. And I believe that every encounter has the potential to be a positive one, no matter the subject or the issue. By identifying key markers in good interactions, trust, empathy, and accountability, we can all elevate our experiences dealing with others. I'm really looking to connect with people who value others and the impact that they can have with every single interaction. I want to have better interactions, don't you?